If you can find the warmth and lock it in, that's a premium. And it's really what we're going to be talking about here in this next segment because all this week we're showing what winter looks like across America. And as the season goes on, it's important to make sure your home is prepared for the snow and that extreme cold. So home expert with the Home Depot, Danny Watson, joins us now. And Danny, thank you for joining us. And what does it mean to winterize your home? We always hear that word, winterize. And why is it so important? Well, it's so important to seal the envelope is what I like to call it. And I've got some easy tips today that I think anybody could knock out in one afternoon. And it's really going to save you in the end. These are really important. If you haven't done these already to get started and do them now. So let's get started out with this water pipe uh, heat cable. What's cool about this, if you have any uh, pipes that are exposed or even in parts of your house that might not have heating, you run this, uh, this heat cable along that pipe. It has a thermostat that's built in. So as the temperatures start to drop, it's going to kick on and keep your, your pipes from freezing. You want to pick up some electrical tape whenever you do this because basically whenever you're, you're attaching it to that pipe every six inches, that's where you're going to attach it. And it comes in many different sizes and lengths, but it's, it's going to be a saver when it comes to keeping from uh, having burst pipes. And then next, uh, covering your faucet. Sometimes it seems like it's not that important, but it really is. This makes a difference. This is an added layer of protection. It goes right up against the house. It protects those faucets. Of course, if it gets really low, like let's say 20 degrees and lower, you may decide to keep those faucets leaking. And then next, covering those pipes, wrapping pipes, again, that are exposed, whether they're on the outside of the house or if they're in a crawl space, wrapping those are really going to give you more protection so you're not dealing with, with busted uh, lines a little bit later. And then next, we've all stood around doorways where there's, there's cold air rushing in. Well, this door sweep is really great. It's super easy to use, and it slides underneath the bottom of the, uh, of the, of the door, this can also be used on windows as well, especially in older homes. A lot of times they don't just meet up exactly right. This right here is going to solve that problem, slides on the bottom of the door, and it can also be cut to, to match the, uh, the size door or window that you're using it on. Also, this window insulation shrink kit, these are great, super easy to use. It basically attaches, it comes with double-sided tape that goes around the side of the window. Use a hair dryer. It takes all the wrinkles out and this cuts it cuts down on your heat loss up to 35%. A lot of heat is lost around windows. So this, this guy is super cheap uh, and super easy to use. And then don't forget if you have gaps and cracks around windows, grabbing some caulking is a smart thing to do. And this is good to do all year long, but especially during the windows or the winter. So around your windows, if you have small gaps and cracks, you want to fill those. If you've got wider cracks, larger, let's say like three inches, pick up the great stuff. Now, this is a spray foam. A lot of people are familiar with it. And it hardens, and it's going to fill those gaps in places where the cold air would come in. I like to use this personally where I have, like, pipes and things coming in around a crawl space or in a basement. Sometimes the, the hole is a little bit larger than it should be. This fills that up. also helps keep critters out. You don't want them coming in and nesting. And then lastly, with the uh, cool temperatures be, being here and a lot of people are using space heaters, make sure that your smoke alarm, your carbon monoxide detector is up to date. If you have a bad one, replace it. They're not that expensive. Also check the batteries. Of course, you should have one of these in all your sleeping areas and on every room and every level of the house, including the basement. It's really a must on these. And lastly, if you haven't changed out for one of the smart thermometers, uh, thermostats, this is a great time to do that. This is going to save you. And of course, this Nest Learning one is fantastic. It learns your habits. Let's say you cut the heat on at a certain time and you lower it down. This is going to begin to learn your habits and adjust it for you. In the end, all of this is going to save you time, save you money and some headache. And Danny, that's what we call a Hail Mary in this business. You got it all in one right there, my friend. Great tips and suggestions and equipment. I could have used that door sweep. I've wasted so many towels <laughs> just trying to seal the envelope as you had phrased it. So working with the Home Depot, Danny Watson, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.